Hey, hey, I'm the Noodle Hunter, and today I've got something from the lands of China. Kimchi beef instant stir fry noodles by the company Master Kang. Weighing in 137 grams of dry weight and a caloric content of approximately 600. The flavor of these noodles sound like the spicy and tangy version of the braised beef noodles in the Master Kang line that I have reviewed in a past video. If you want to watch that video, look in the description box below for the link. My friend translated these noodles to be kimchi beef noodles, but as I read the ingredients list, I can't seem to find the word kimchi written in it. However, there's only one way to find out if there's any kimchi in these noodles, and that's by giving it a taste test. Inside we have, of course, the noodles. It looks like the same noodles that came in the braised beef version of this product line. It also includes the chopsticks. Shing! Now, I love the fact that Master Kang thinks about the customers and includes the chopsticks. It really feels like it brings the Asian out of me. And it also comes with the, I believe this is the kimchi, or maybe it's China's version of kimchi or pickled fermented vegetables. Has the dry ingredients carrots and looks like a bit of beef. They're not very generous with the beef are they? Oh well, it is a instant ramen. And I believe this is the meat sauce. Oh, that feels very, very dense. It shows that it's gonna be super, super flavorsome. All right, let's move on to the next part. Boiling these noodles. Okay, let's fill it all right up. Since this is a stir fry noodle, I wanna make it be submerged in as much water as I possibly can. Oh uh, yeah. Let's smash, 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 smash to the top. Hopefully not burn my hand. Let's uh, whip out my trusty chopsticks. Submerge under water. I don't think this needs to flip. And as I forgot to mention before, these also come as I stuff up um, opening up these noodles. There's little drain drainage ports for later on when you need to drain the water. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put these on top just to keep the lid down. And, bam! I guess I'm gonna now have to wait three to five arduous minutes. So it's been about three to five minutes and I haven't drained the water out of these noodles yet because I always like to show the little innovations that companies do to make the customer have a more easier experience. And let me show you. Let's just chuck this off. Whoa. This feels really nice and hot. Ouch. Uh, this, that. And it's these little drain drainage ports. Oh, I can't English right now. These drainage ports that help you drain the water without needing a strainer. Now that's super innovative and convenient. So I'm gonna demonstrate it to you right now. Um, I did kind of overly open this up and hopefully none of the noodles, or all the noodles come out. All right, wish me luck. Now, that's awesome. I'm a little bit concerned of how yellow these noodles are, but I'm gonna assume that it's gonna, I mean, not the noodles, the water, but I'm gonna assume that's the flavoring of what's inside. <laughs> All right, let's set this aside and move on to the next part. Seasoning these noodles. All right, I'm gonna open this up a little bit more so it's a little bit easier for me to add the seasoning in. And I'm gonna start with, I believe, the dry mustard. Oh, that's awesome. And I don't believe this is kimchi noodles. It looks like um, like Chinese fermented vegetables, like pickled vegetables. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Very sour, not tangy, and a little bit spicy. All right. Oh, man. I should have put the dry ingredients in there. I totally forgot. That's right. I'll let the heat hopefully soak up the dryness of these seasonings. And now, the sauce. And you know I have to do this. Whoa. It definitely tastes different from the braised beef I had before. It has more tanginess and sourness to it. That's really quite nice. Okay, let's mix it up before we move it. <coughs> oh, it's a bit spicy. Let's see. Ooh, it split perfectly in half. And it wouldn't be the noodle channel if I didn't do this. 
So, are you guys ready for the grand opening of kimchi beef instant stir fry noodles by the company Master Kang? Oh, oh yeah. Now that looks kind of plain actually. I think all the seasoning went to the bottom. It always does that when I mix it up. Alright, since there isn't any soup, you've got to taste the noodles and the flavouring at the same time. Okay then, I'm going to go straight into adding the little bits of ingredients onto my spoon and adding the noodles on. Oh yeah, I definitely add too much cabbage there. Okay, let's go. Mm. Oh wow. The meat basically just dissolved in my mouth, but the texture of those pickles which I believe is a kimchi that my friend tra my friend translated to is absolutely delicious especially when you're really accustomed to Asian flavors this ad addition of pickles to the noodles really amp up the flavor there is a level of beefiness added to these noodles as well you can't really taste the sauce too much unless you eat it with the pickles right it really kind of complements each other but that's a good thing because in my braised beef video it was just a little bit too salty I have to go back for a second bite ah uh, these chopsticks are really difficult to use it actually they're kind of tiny alrighty a bit of pickle there boom check that out okay mmm mmm mm. wow the noodles are exactly like the braised beef version bouncy al dente and just very satisfying to chew as if it was like hand beaten or handmade I think that's what they call it like proper noodles so I'm gonna give the noodles a 10 out of 10 as usual the flavoring though if you really love like Chinese pickles and all that other stuff when you chew on it you can first taste the fibers of the cabbage that's inside I'm not sure if it's cabbage it might be like bok choy Oh, I don't know what the vegetable it might be mustard as well I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know what the vegetable is um, but as you chew on it you can see the field of fibrous um, plant just mold between your teeth along with the noodles that bounce back and forth it's like a texture explosion um, so it starts off with a bit of a sour tangy like taste there's not much sweetness to it only the tiniest bit and it just follows up after you swallow it with this kind of like garlicky oniony aroma with it as well and there is just a little bit of spiciness yeah wow just because of the cabbage and the flavoring on the sauce I'm gonna give the sauce as well a 10 out of 10 Master Kang has really outdid themselves although this is